Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here for your reading. Today we're going to be looking at what is destined in your future. So what's coming up for you, some things you can look forward to, some things you need to be aware of, um, and it can be in any area of your life. So we'll have a look and see what the cards can predict here for you. Um, so it is intended for all Fire Signs watching. Um, and if you enjoy this content, please drop a like. Um, also, feel free to subscribe to the channel and join my lovely little YouTube family. It is growing, so thank you everyone all around the world um, for joining me. It really does mean a lot. Anyone that wants to become a channel member, you can absolutely do so, and that's going to give you access to bonus readings and extended versions to monthly readings as well. Otherwise, let's jump into this. I'm excited to see. Okay, you've had a couple cards fall out. I promise you I haven't pre-picked them. Uh, they just fell out then. Okay, so I've got the King of Wands and the Hierophant. Let's see what else comes up. Could be a Taurus, a destined Taurus. Things may not necessarily work out you the way you want them to. There could be a marriage that falls through or a divorce in your future here. Okay, we've got a Gemini. Things could also not work out with a Gemini maybe um, in the future. Okay, your relationship's not going to work out because there's going to be something better here in store for you. You need to trust that process. Okay, more cards have fallen out. Okay, destined cancer, I feel, is coming up around you here. That could very well be the person you end up with. Could also be a strong fire sign. Okay, you're destined to have children or to build a family home or become a step parent or a step figure or even a foster parent in your lifetime. Um, also destined to have grandchildren here as well. I'm seeing a large family around you. Um, a lot of you, there's a family business in your future. There's something that you may start to do working from home that's going to become very successful and lucrative. It's going to give you enough money to support yourself and be able to work from home. But I see some of you will have to travel for this reason here as well. So I wouldn't be too surprised if in your future you sort of build something up here financially and then it gets to a point where you might have to open several little shops or studios or bases and I actually see you driving around in between these places. So Whatever you're building here, whatever you're working towards, that's very exciting. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You are going to be extremely comfortable with money, fire signs. It's in your cards here. You are going to be very comfortable with money. I see some of you having multiple properties or multiple cars. So you potentially will be juggling quite a bit of assets here. Some of you are even going to have a family home. Like um, outside of a family home, you'll have like a beach property, a place where you can visit type thing. So obviously... There's some success here for your fire signs, which is wonderful to see. Okay, um, I feel like you're destined to end up with someone who is your age. Not a huge age gap younger and not a huge age gap older. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like that's the person you're going to end up with. So things may not work out between a Taurus and a Gemini. But a cancer and fire energy is coming up very strongly. So you may end up very well with one of those signs. There could be a marriage or a relationship that falls apart. And then you meet this destined fire sign here. So once you turn on back on your commitment on that Venus energy, could also be turning your back on a Taurus. Um, the Gemini down here, if some of you are dealing with that sign, I feel like it's going to be a complicated relationship. But I also feel like this is telling me a soulmate or twin flame could come up in your future, but you're not going to be prepared to date this person or to marry them. So whatever's coming up here, there's a major lesson you have to learn before you can settle down with that person. So if you've already had this connection and you know they're the one, but it didn't work out, you were, you both weren't ready. It's like your souls weren't ready to embrace each other. You haven't grown. You haven't grown. You hadn't come to the place where you were supposed to in order for this to be successful. Will there be a second chance? Possibly. The love is represented by the twins. So we've got that number, of, that, that duality number of two. So it's very likely that another opportunity will come, come back around in your future. Be patient with that um, fire signs. It's going to come when you least expect. And that's all part of spirit's plan. Okay, so we can't fight what the universe wants for us. We certainly can't fight the timing it happens right person, wrong time, um, wrong person, right time. So it's it's a really complex situation here I'm seeing. Okay, who's this king? This is a, a two fire kings. Okay, 
I really feel like you may end up with a destined, uh, with a bias sign. You may end up with someone very similar to you. Okay, three and four of swords. There's, I'm not seeing a betrayal or deception in your future. So I feel like for a lot of you fire signs, you've been through the worst of it. I'm sensing a lot of you have been through hell and back in a relationship and there's fear that it may happen again to you here. So you're holding back um, with continuing a connection because you're scared. Love hurts. Oh my God, does it hurt? You know, that risk. But what I'm seeing in the cards is that I feel like that's not coming up in your future very prominently. So I'm not seeing any more cheating if you've had that or betrayals or scandalous, you know, toxic relationships. I think it's all pretty much smooth sailing here in your future. Look, there may be ones that don't work out, but they're gonna, it's going to be for a reason. Uh, I don't think it's going to be because of cheating or anything like that. Four of Swords is reversed here, so I feel like you've got quite a jam-packed future ahead of you. I don't see a lot of periods in your life where things are very quiet and things are at a standstill. I always feel like things are happening. You're meeting new people, milestones are happening. Your life is going to be almost like a theatrical drama, he fires signs. And, and trust me, you would rather that than have a boring, serious, monotonous existence. Like, what I'm seeing here for you is that there's always going to be something happening in your life. There's never going to be a time where things are really still and things feel really stagnant and you're just not sure where to take it from there. I feel like it's going to be quite eventful here for you. So you have this eventful, beautiful life that's um that's ahead for you. I also feel like if anyone's in a temporary situation or a breakup or if you're in no contact, the cards are telling me that um it's not going to be very long. So it's not long before this person reaches out or you hook back up or you get that second opportunity that I mentioned down here. So it's very likely, I, I, like I said, I don't see you in long periods of not talking or not communicating or not being active in your life. I think they're going to be very temporary. So I'm getting your future is predicted to have a temporary breakup or a temporary situation where it's really quiet. It won't be for long um, is what I'm sensing. Some of you may end up with an ex-partner, in particular that cancer. Uh, I also feel like this is something about the mother. So some of you may be destined to reunite with your birth mother or have a relationship with your mother. Or if she's passed on, she may appear to you uh, maybe in dreams or visions. Or, you know, this could even be like a stepmother figure. It's like you, some sort of significant relationship with the mother, maybe your partner's mother, um, that's going to be very significant in your future. Maybe it's not so much now, uh, but it will be in the future. So hang tight and watch for that because I feel like that's uh, that's in the cards here for you. I do. It could be like this, especially if you're sort of partnering up with a partnering business. I do see you getting involved in the future in some sort of family business or taking over. There could also be quite a, a substantial financial uh, inheritance that's coming to you through family, through marriage. Um, it may be a property. It could be money that's destined to be handed here to you, uh, fire signs. I'm going to leave it at that though. So thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join my little YouTube family. Uh, also, if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, for private readings, please email me. I am currently accepting those. So I'll be more than happy to send over the booking details. Um, Otherwise, all the best fire signs. I hope you've enjoyed this. Much love and bye for now.